All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Isn't it great to have a new From Software game out? Yeah, it feels so good. All right, so here's the two boss fights. Nice to meet you again. I did. Um, I want to highlight both of them just because they gates. were both back to back and pretty close to each other. I'm gonna need you to die. Um, this first I boss really fight. want to keep going in the game. With a. Uh, Garubu, I'm not really sure if it's his name. It's not really, really, really a whole lot to it. Just basically want to learn his attacks and obviously want to deflect and get that Sorry posture built up. Um, a couple times he's going to run away and you can actually grapple to him. That's going to be extremely important as well. Um, just because you're going to get closer to him. And actually it's going to almost be like an interrupt and a dodge at the same time. Where you'll get inside of his attack. The biggest problem for me in this fight actually was the camera. Um, a lot of times I died just because the camera wasn't was too zoomed in, or I lost like right here, like I lost uh, the lock on, and kind of just lost him, and we get killed. Obviously, this everything's just a, almost a one shot in this game, basically. So if he goes away like that, just get ready to grapple like that right there. Oh and when God. he throws his spear down, that's when it's gonna happen. But other than that, there's not really a whole lot into this boss fight. I'm just gonna let it play out, um, and I'll come back. And join for the okay, for the bowl spin. after this. But thanks for watching. Um, like, share, subscribe if you do. Um, enjoy the video, and if you want to see some more Sekiro content. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay. Oh. Alright, that's lucky. Come on, buddy, come on. Oh my god, move, move. Fuck it, dude, I'm telling you, these camera angles kill me in this fight. Okay, here we go, baby. Too far. I asked for that one, though. Alright, yeah, and if you do have trouble with the camera, yeah, yeah, just try yeah, to keep yeah, them out in the middle and stay away from the walls. Oh is what God. the best advice I could give. Oh, his horse is alive. Alright, then now here's the bull fight. So this fight actually had a little more trouble with than the last fight. Um, I ended up just treating it like a, a Bloodborne boss. Uh, on Attack of the Fanboy, I kind of looked it up real quick, because I was having a lot of trouble with it. And it said, just get up on it and strafe. And it was kind of just the strategy I used in a lot of the Bloodborne bosses where you just get up on it, attack, and do your best you can to try to get to the, the to behind the boss, basically. So, basically I just held sprint down the whole time and tried to stay up on the bull, and just took the shots when I could. Anytime I found myself in front or near his left or right shoulder, um, I would immediately get away from him or, or dodge the back of him. Behind him. Um, because that's when you're just going to be most vulnerable as he's going to attack down to the left, down to the right if you're on him, like he did right there. And he's going to attack straight ahead. So as long as you're on the back side of him, you, you will be fine. This is tough at first because obviously I wanted to get into the parry system. Um, 
but here it did, did not work at all. You're still going to take a lot of damage from it. Um, you block some, but definitely not enough damage to keep the fight going. So what you want to do is just stay up on him like I did. Fuck, and I keep attacking. Look at the goddamn bull. Take the bull by the horns. Who's faster? Do you think he'd be tired by now? If you can get him stuck in a corner like I do right here, just jump in real quick. It's it's really helps out too. Get him up against the wall or into a corner, and kind of just work your way around the back of him because it seems like he kind of takes his time to turn around and he gets into a wall. Really helps you get a lot of damage in. Next, this is the end of the fight right here. So if you get him to do that gallop, he actually goes into full posture and you can actually get the finishing blow. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe if you enjoy. And if you have any tips I missed, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. Or any just tips in general, just leave them down for Sekiro. Right Thanks, guys. Baby. I did not know that was going to be the end. Wait, what the fuck?